Hey my loves, it's your girl Mary J. Welcome back to yet another video. If you'd like to see how I got this bomb protective style, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and enjoy. So I've washed my hair I've blow dried my hair. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I have blow dried my hair and I've also um, all my scalp and made sure it was very nice and moisturized. Um, ever since I did the big chop, now that my hair is growing back, it is growing back with a lot of dandruff. So I'm making sure that my scalp is always moisturized. So please do make sure that your scalp is moisturized because this is a protective style. And what I'm doing here is I'm trying to do a, a middle part, which I'm looking down because, you know, I'm looking down at, uh, in the mirror, but trying to get this part as straight as possible. So I am content with the part that I got. So next what I'm doing is I'm putting my hair in sections. I am working in sections because sections are sections make it easier for you to mold down your hair. And we are going to be molding down our hair backwards and putting it in a nice sleek ponytail. And because my hair is natural, sections make it easier to work with. Okay, so I do recommend you work in sections. I just want to say these sections do not have to be perfect because they are all going to be molded down into a ponytail. So do not stress yourself about making these sections perfect. Just section out your hair to the best of your abilities. Um, I went with about three sections because my hair is not that much. But if you have a lot of hair, you can definitely do more sections. Do as much sections as you know you see fit, okay? To mold my hair, we are going to be using Jam. We are going to be using Edge Control. I got the EBIN Edge Control. I'm going to be using Spritz. And that's it. That's all I'm going to be using to mold down my hair. Um, starting off working with the section in the back, of course, because the ponytail is going backwards. I am putting as much Jam in there as possible. Guys, use as much product as you need. When working with natural hair, unfortunately, our hair does not just sleek back, you know, because it's natural. So definitely use as much product as you think you need. If you have to use the whole bottle, sis, use the whole bottle because you want this point still to be sleek down the sleekest as possible, okay? So after I apply the jam, I am going to be using a comb to comb the hair, making sure that all of my strands are going in one direction. And this is also going to help make the ponytail really smooth. So I finished working with the first section. I am now going in to the second section. Releasing that section, I'm using a brush to brush it out, making sure that you know it's nice and brushed and there is no tangles in my hair and i'm going in with my jam again of course re definitely repeating the same steps going in with my jam using a comb 
to comb it out and make sure that all my strands are going in one direction and that the hair is smooth and what's also going to help that i use is a brush very thin um bristle brush and i use that to also brush the hair in one direction and you know to get it as smooth as possible because the slicker this pointy tail is the better it's going to look so this is the brush that i you know i'm using and i'm just using that to help me get the hair in one direction and make it real smooth and i'm going to connect this second section to the first section and i'm going to just tie it with a scrunchie so that's it that is the process and i'm just going to repeat that with the other two sections that are left This is what it's looking like so far that, that I have sleeked all of my sections back. And now I am trying to perfect this part a little better. Um, I definitely struggled with trying to get it as perfect as possible. But now looking at it, it wasn't bad. But I just wanted to make sure that it was straight as possible. Now I am going in with my edge control. And I'm just going to apply that on top of my hair. And this is going to serve as an extra layer of protection to make sure that my hair stays molded down. And I'm also going to be using the edge control to try to work on my edges. Uh, I'm really not good with baby hairs, but you know, I try to do a little something. <laughs> Thank you. 
this is me struggling to try to you know create those baby hairs and make them look nice um i didn't do a uh i did an okay job i can't say that i did an okay job um definitely was harder than i thought because my hair was so molded down it was hard to manipulate my hair after i've you know put the jam and the edge control so it was hard for me to kind of break it up and you know work with my edges but i think i did an okay job Now I'm going to be going in with my spritz and I'm just going to spray that on top of my hair. Again, this is supposed to make it hard. Serves as another layer of another layer of protection to make sure that my hair stays molded down. Again, when you're working with natural hair, it's tough. It's tough. So, you know, I definitely wanted to make sure this stays down as sleek as possible. So the spritz definitely helped. And this is how it's looking. I'm sorry you guys can't see all the way, but this is how the back is looking. And now I'm just going to be using my um, hand tie and I'm going to tie this down. So therefore it sets and it's nice and molded. I let my hair set for about 20 minutes and now I'm back and this is how it's looking guys. I must say I was really pleased. Uh, you know, it looks very nice and sleek. This is how it's looking y'all. Oh guys, I was so happy at this point. So this is going to be the hair that I'm going to be using for the ponytail. This is um, very natural looking because i was going for that natural ponytail goddess a big ponytail look so this is the hair that i am using you can find this at your local beauty supply and i'm just going to work on attaching the ponytail what i did was i combined both of the strands of hair and i used the scrunchie to just tie them together and i'm using the scrunchie to attach it onto my hair in the back okay so it was very 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 simple um and now what i'm doing is i am taking out a little section of the hair so i can use that to wrap the base of the hair so therefore it makes it look very natural right so this is the piece of hair and what i'm doing now i'm just using it to wrap around the base of the ponytail and i'm using that you know just so the transition between my hair and the ponytail looks better so i'm just using it and i'm just wrapping it around as tight as possible to secure the ponytail guys make it real real secure because the last thing you want to do is think you're cute and then your ponytail flies off <laughs> that's not cute okay so you want to make sure you secure this ponytail really really nice and tight and this is the end of it and i'm just going to secure that as tight as possible i'm going to be using my got to be spray to help hold that down as well and i know you guys see the little gold pieces in the back i did cut that um i did cut that off of the hair um because that's not cute either so i cut that off of the hair and after I, you know, did this process, I also tied it down too for an extra layer of, you know, security. Okay. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for coming to the end. I appreciate it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in another one.